So it is officially 2024 and from spending the last year with some amazing tech and accessories, I thought I would make this video to show you guys what my tech everyday carry looks like. Now for this video, I'll start off with everything that I never leave the house with and then in upcoming videos, I'll do a travel EDC as well. But let's start with what is in my pockets with the most important problem being my smartphone. My smartphone is something that I have on me at all times and even when I'm at home, I probably have my smartphone on me 99% of the time. Now the device I've been using for almost a year now is the Samsung Galaxy S23 in green and I honestly love how this device looks and feels in hand. Now I've been using Samsung devices for more than 10 years now and even though I do love my smartphone, it's not without its issues, especially on the notification side and the camera side. There are a few problems that I've seen from using it for extended periods of time now. But apart from that, the battery still holds up really nicely. The screen looks amazing and it is fast enough for me to do anything I want to or need to on a daily basis. But I will make a long-term review of this device and get into more detail on the things that I like and the things that have been bothering me over time. Now last week I was at Unpacked and I absolutely love the new AI features that they have on the S24 range. So my S23 will most probably be replaced by the new S24, but I will be making a bunch of videos on the S24 range, so do keep an eye out for that. Next item is my watch and I do rotate between a bunch of different options and even though I'm not the biggest fan of smartwatches, I do love the convenience that they provide with tracking steps and tracking your health and for that reason, I wear a smartwatch probably 90% of the time. So the two options that I have is my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, which is the one that I probably wear the most as it connects super easily with my smartphone. Plus it just looks like a plain smartwatch, which is great because I don't really mind too much working out with it or getting it damaged. But then I also recently got the new Huawei Watch GT4, which looks absolutely amazing, got it in the green color, and that one looks a little bit more like a watch compared to a smartwatch. So I do tend to use that one if I need to sort of dress up slightly, but still wanna be able to track my steps and all of the other things like get notifications, reply to messages, all the things that smartwatches provide you. But then if I really wanna dress up or just go old school, I do have my Fossil Mechanical watch. It has a skeleton design so you can see right through it. And honestly, I'm such a big fan of watches and especially mechanical watches. So this is one of those that I'll always keep in my collection and always keep on rotation. Plus my wife actually bought it for me for one of my birthday presents. So yeah, it's, it's special. Then I never leave the house without my wedding ring. Now this is just a plain thin gold ring, nothing really special about it, apart from the fact that it is my wedding ring. Next up is my earbuds, and for the last year or so, I've been using the Marshall Minor 3s, which was gifted to me before we went to Dubai on that trip last year, and since then, these have traveled with me wherever I go. Now the reason for this is they have great battery life, they are small enough to carry with me in my pocket or in a bag, and they connect to literally everything that I take with me, whether that is my smartphone, my laptop, my Ally, or even my Nintendo Switch. So no matter where I go or whatever I need these earbuds for, they can connect to it and they just work great for that. Now these aren't perfect, I did make a full review video on them, sort of going through the pros and the cons, but for my use case, the Minor 3s are amazing, but if you need something a little bit more noise cancelly, then I would definitely go for the ANCs. Next item on my list is my wallet, and this is also one of those items I never leave the house with, mainly because my drivers and my ID is in there, but then it also carries a bunch of bank cards and loyalty cards as well, and I did actually opt for a slimline wallet because I don't really like to carry cash with me, and this one is small enough that I can fit it into my pocket or any bag that I might travel with if I don't wanna keep it in my pocket, and I just overall like the style and size of this, even though it does, need replacing. Now, of course, the one drawback is there is limited space for cards, but I usually just carry the most important bank cards and IDs with me that I need. And then for the rest, I'll just either load them on my phone or just take them with me as I need them. But one of the cards that I've recently been taking a lot with me is my metal NFC business card. So I had this metal NFC card made by a company in South Africa and what they allow you to do is engrave any design on the front as well as on the back. So on the front, I just went for the sort of simplistic Damascus design and then I have a QR code at the back which just leads to my YouTube channel 
which is great for if you're at events or if you bump into people and they wanna know where your YouTube channel is or what your YouTube channel name is, they can simply scan the QR code and that will lead them directly to the YouTube channel. But then if I bump into PR or people I wanna collab with, I can simply tap the card to their smartphone and it will automatically add all of my contact details to their smartphone. That way they have my email, my number, and everything that they might need to get in contact with me to then start the conversation on whatever collab or product we spoke about at the event. But because this is an NFC card, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. So it's not limited to just transferring contacts or just sending people to random websites. So even if you are done using it as a business card, you can still use it for other use cases as well. Then something that I've started carrying around with me wherever I go is my camera. And my camera of choice is my Sony a7 IV with the 24 to 70 G Master lens. And I absolutely love this camera. Now before this one, I did have the Canon EOS R, which is also an amazing camera, but this one just looks better for me and it just does everything that I needed to do, whether that is making videos like this, doing client work, taking pictures, and literally everything in between. This camera really does get used a lot and I will most likely be lost without it. Now to carry my camera around wherever I go, I am using the Peak Design 3 liter sling bag in gray, which Orm so graciously gifted me before our trip to Dubai as well. And the three liter for me is the perfect size. It's large enough for me to carry my a 74 with my lens attached, but then also add a bunch of other accessories like my Rode Wireless Pro mic set, my Peak Design wrist strap, extra SD cards, my earphones, and even my smartphone wallet or a power bank if needed. So really for me, it is big enough, but it's also small enough that I can just carry it around with me wherever I go. Now, if you need a larger bag, Peak Design also has a six liter bag, which is slightly larger for you to maybe add a tablet in there as well with your camera, maybe a few other accessories. Let's say you have two cameras, for example, then you can have both of them in there. But for me, in my use case, three liters is perfect. Then I have a few items that I carry around with me often enough that it is a daily, but it's not so far and in between that it is a travel. So I'm sort of including it with the daily EDC, but then I'll probably just include it with the travel as well because they do travel with me wherever I go. Now the first one is my MacBook and the one that I have is the MacBook Air M1 13 inch. It is really tiny, I love the size, it's really easy to carry with me wherever I go, but then it also still has a lot of power to do video editing, photo editing, whatever I need to do. But I have recently started editing more 4K video with a lot of more extra layers on top of that, which has started to show the age of this one. And especially on the RAM side, it really is lacking. So usually when I start doing these larger projects, it does start to crash because of RAM. So I am looking at maybe replacing this one with a MacBook Pro, maybe like an M3, just to make sure that I am covered for the next couple of years. I have been using this one for a couple of years now already. So I do tend to buy them and keep them for long term. I don't buy them and replace them every year. So for that case, I am sort of leaning towards that. And this will probably be one of the first, I would say tech items that I replace. But if I replace it, I'll keep you guys updated. And of course I will make a video on the new MacBook if I do that. And then the other items are a tiny book and pen. And I usually just use that to jot down ideas if I have ideas while driving or just sitting around, or if I have a to-do list that I can just simply write it down and then cross it out as I complete them throughout the day. I usually try to do this as writing things down really just solidifies it in my mind and I am easily distracted. So if I whip out my phone to maybe start making a task list or anything like that, I usually get distracted by some sort of app. I go in there, I do everything else except actually make the list. So having a little book with a pen, there's zero distractions. I can just write everything down. If I'm done with it, I scratch it out and there's no other apps to really distract me and sort of eat away at the time that I might have. Plus I don't need internet connection or anything like that. It's analog, you can just write and that's it. But that is it for the daily EDC for 2024 as it stands today. A lot of these will probably change throughout the year. Um, there's a lot of cool tech coming out now. The S24 just launched. I'm probably gonna change out my phone with that. I might change out my laptop as I mentioned, um, but for the most part, I really wanna try and get to a point in 2024 where I really slim down my setup. I don't wanna have 10,000 different items to do 10,000 little small tasks. I would rather get one thing that does most of it and have a sort of compressed setup that I can just take with me wherever I go. Now I also have a bunch of other EDC video planned out, like a travel EDC video and even a desk setup video. But for now, I wanna wish you all an amazing 2024. 
And then until next time, cheers.